So it's hot and I decided to go get me a few chilled adult beverages when I realized that my hand might get cold. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but this is a can cooler, believe it or not, or a can koozie or whatever they call them. I uh, sort of stumbled across a, I uh, won't sit there, I stumbled across a uh, little yard sale thing. Uh, apparently the guy that was having a yard sale uh, used to have a prepping store and I didn't even know about it and it was like relatively close to where I live. I guess he was there for like three, four years or something like that. Uh, he's got more stuff coming so he told me that he hasn't brought all his things in yet. So I picked up a few things today and I'm going to go back maybe tomorrow or the next day and see if he would mind me filming. If he doesn't then I will film. But uh, yeah I gotta start with this. Uh, I'm not a Vietnam veteran. I'm not a veteran at all. I was never in the armed forces, uh, never in the service, never, never anything. Uh, the guy got to talking about military stuff, and I mentioned that my dad served in Vietnam, and he says, what size is he? And I said, well, I think he's large, and he tossed me this shirt and said, tell him thanks for his service. So I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I'll give this to dad when I, when I run into him. I got a book, some booby traps. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It was just kind of like a, it was there and it looked neat. And it was like eight bucks and dude was like, give me a dollar for it. And I said, okay. And uh, these little, these little mini cast iron, I don't know if I can do this one handed, little miniature cast iron skillets. And I don't think I can get them out of there one handed. Come on, get out of there. Yeah. Little miniature cast iron skillets. There, I'm sure I can't cook anything. Maybe an egg. Maybe I can make an egg in it. But I'll probably just clean them up and use them for look at -y thingamajigs, decorations or something. Uh, the dude said he's going to be there until all of his inventory has gone that it, from his store. And he said it might be three or four days, three or four weeks. Anyway, uh, I'm definitely going back and uh, check out more of what he's got. As I was leaving, I noticed a lot of military clothing that I didn't notice while I was there. Helmets and stuff like that. And I thought, man, wish I'd have saw those. But I didn't really feel like turning around. So, but anyway, yeah, that was today. So, apparently, my spring box is clogged up again. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. I kind of know what's going on, but I'm not exactly sure. It silts in after big storms and has it go be cleaned out. It's way up that way. But that green hose right there is the intake or the inlet to this holding tank and I know it's not running because there is no water spilling over also there's tadpoles in here and when I walked up here there was a bunch of bunch of frogs jumped in I don't know if that shows up on the camera I think it might there's one little dude right there yeah the reflection's gonna mess with it but yeah it's not showing up in the camera there's like a million of them little critters in there flipping around doing their thing so yeah that'll be a fun thing to do and it has been a very long time since I cleaned it out probably last fall I think uh, we really haven't had many big storms a lot of rain but not many storms that'll be uh, a thing on the to-do list we do have some rain coming in a few days after the heat's gone and for a few days in a few days it's going to be more than a few days it's going to be like uh, I think the next 15 days or something like that it's forecasted to rain and a lot of thunderstorms but of course that'll change as time goes on like it usually does I don't know what that green stuff growing there I thought it was like moss but it's got flowery things on it maybe the moss does that I really don't know kind of neat looking whatever it is but yeah the water's all green and very stagnant but I do not see any mosquito larvae in there which is cool that's something I always kind of worry about with this thing uh, I do like frogs they eat bugs so I'll probably just let this thing go I'm not gonna drain it but I will work on the the hose thing maybe tomorrow if it's not a bajillion degrees and maybe just getting fresh water moving in here uh, maybe that'll help keep the skeeters away and little taddy pole dudes will turn into frogs that'll maybe eat mosquitoes so those little guys can hang out and do their thing uh, yeah 
muddy, yucky mess thing, but it's kind of cool. Like a outdoor aquarium, kind of. I don't know. Yeah, anyway. So I forgot to mention that I got a hat today, too. Uh, nice khaki-colored hat there. Got the Gadsden snake on here. Don't tread on me. Nice, it fits good. Uh, just a normal ball cap with a nice snake on it. I do have a hat very similar to this, almost identical, but only it's black and it's built just a little different like the other style of ball cap that comes up higher in the front for whatever reason. Uh, I don't really know what those were designed for, but this is what I like. And I can hear my chickens trying to talk here. Uh, yeah, the symbol's kind of been adopted by all the preppers that, that don't tread on me, and a lot of people take it the wrong way. It's not not like a declaration of war or, uh, you know, or, or any kind of racism thing or anything. That's not what it means. Uh, initially, it was a battle flag or something. I can't remember, and I feel stupid right now for not being able to say what it actually was, but you can Google it and what the Gadsden flag initially meant. Uh... I guess as far as preppers go, uh, a lot of those guys would probably, this message would be more directed to uh, the government. Well, I just like it. I, uh, I don't know, I kind of think that if someone is going to cause problems, they might notice the symbol on my hat and be like, oh, okay, uh, this guy... It's probably not going to bow down and give up his wallet very easily or uh, I'm, I'm not going to come try to rob this guy or something. Which I don't really worry about that anyway, but and I just like the hat and I like the snake. So anyway, that's, that's another thing that I picked up from that cool little yard sale. So I took the little frying pans out of the box and kind of started messing with them. And yeah, there's a little bit of rust here and there, whatever, that doesn't matter. Uh, this guy's got some there. You can see that. They're incredibly tiny, and they're pretty awesome. And I am really wanting to cook something in them. <laughs> and I think I mentioned something about maybe trying an egg, but I'm pretty sure an egg would not fit in it. For size comparison, there is a quarter. And for my friends across the pond, that is a 25 cent piece. <laughs> Uh, I think across the pond, y'all call them pence or something for 25 cents. It'd be 25 pence, maybe. Uh, and up in Canada, there's there's toonies and loonies. I think a quarter falls somewhere in that classification. I'm not real sure. Actually, a better thing, here's a Bic lighter. <laughs> These little things are just tiny. And this dude's got something going on there. I think it was how it was formed. Something went bad, and there's little bubbles there. So, uh, I mean... And yes, I have a pink lighter. I don't ask. I don't have a cool answer for that, but I have a pink lighter. Uh, my daughter actually came up with the idea of maybe making, like, little silver dollar pancakes in there. Little itty-bitty things or something. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool, I guess. Uh, you know, to be efficient, I would need a lot more of these. Or take a long time making four pancakes at a time that are smaller than a can of beer or a can of pop uh, but I really I really just want to cook something in them just to say that I did uh, maybe I can get like some banny eggs or something the, the chickens that are really small they do lay eggs and you can eat them and they're really tiny maybe I could try that that might be a cool thing uh, like little miniature chicken eggs over a fire or something but I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna try try to do something in them uh, and they are real cast iron they're not like fake they're uh corona and then some numbers and stuff i don't know what that means and there is a picture of a crown i i don't know these things are really cool to play with that i haven't yeah they got rust they're pitted up pretty bad but you know whatever i can cure them just like i cure all the other cast iron that i have and season them up real good yeah, I don't know. If anybody has any thoughts on what I could actually do with these little things, uh, cooking-wise, aside from just hanging them on a little hook or something, or gifting them to somebody who loves cast iron, let me know. I would absolutely love to try cooking, and, uh, you know, over a fire, a small fire, obviously, since a fire, a flame of anything is bigger than these things. Uh, if anybody has any idea of something camping-related or... 
dinner related, prepping related, something. Or actually, you know, for that matter, anything that could contribute to a meal. Maybe something that has a very small portion, <laughs> like a side to a big meal, and then use these guys to make something small for a side in, in a big meal. Uh, let me know. I would absolutely appreciate it. Uh, I'm really wondering about those numbers. Now, I may try to look these guys up online. I don't know anything about them. <laughs> but they're pretty cool. And I don't know why I keep putting them all in line and not straight up. I, I don't know what that's about. Uh, yeah, something weird with my head, I guess. Anyway, that is that. Uh, these are these. And other good stuff. Well, yeah, another hot day, so not going to be doing anything else. Did do some more stuff in the garden, but it's not worth talking about because it's just the same old, same old. Cool, everybody. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I appreciate it, and love, 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 love.